Good morning, brothers and sisters. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. Today is Thursday, May 6, 2021. He woke me up to see another day. He woke you up to see another day. Hallelujah. So praise be to the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. There is none like you, Father God. Hallelujah. We give you this day of our life. So Father God, for you to fulfill, have your way in us. Lord, this morning, I thank you for waking me up. I come to you today with a purpose, oh God. I come to you with a purpose to fulfill your will. My name, everyone, I'd like to introduce yourself. I'd like to call myself Sister Cam. It's short for Camilla. That's the name everyone who affectionately calls me by the, my middle name. Um, I go to Hope's Way Church. It's located in the Bronx, 2281 Southern Boulevard. Um, right now, we have service two ways remotely on Zoom, as well as um, we meet in the sanctuary, too. Service starts on Sundays at 9 a.m. Um, we also have, you can call in on the conference line. If you'd like to learn more about Hope's Way Ministries, um, you can go and check us out on our website at hopesway.org. Um, in addition to that, I wanted to talk to you about the importance of prayer. The scriptures that I will be making reference to is Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 to 13. Then we're going to be talking about John chapter 14, verses 13 to 14. And then we're going to end on Romans chapter 10, verses 9 through 13. I will be using the King James Version. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So I just want to open up briefly in a quick prayer. Father God, let your Holy Spirit lead and moving. And God, we pray that this message reaches someone who needs it and that it will encourage them to know you for who you are. Hallelujah. You thank you, Father God. You said we can come to you in prayer. Hallelujah. And prayer is the way we communicate with you. And you give us so many different ways we can pray to you. Hallelujah. And Jesus, you taught us to believe when we pray. Hallelujah. Believe that your will be done. Believe that it is done. Hallelujah. And teach us how to pray in your will. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for that moment. Now, we're going to be reading Matthew chapter 6, right? Verses 9 through 13. It talks about the disciples at this point was asking Jesus about how to pray. And Jesus began to teach them. And this is like what Jesus says, starting from Matthew chapter um, 6, verse 9. It says, Jesus is speaking, hallelujah. In this manner, therefore, pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, hallelujah. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. That's when they say forgive us our debts, talking about forgive us for sins that we may have done to God. Like as God is forgiving us. Like he throws, when he forgives us, he throws in the sea of forgetfulness that we, he does not remember it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. And God is also teaching us and want us to do the same. Because in um, that verse of Matthew chapter 6, verse 12, he said, and forgive us. That's where we're, we're asking God to forgive us our debts. And then as we forgive our debtors and now saying as we do the same and do not lead us into temptation. Now we're asking God not to lead, not to let us be led into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one, deliver us from the evil one. The evil one is Satan. He, um, cause the word of God said we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but what we wrestle against is spiritual wickedness in high places, demonic spiritual forces in high places, um, that the enemy, he seeks to attack us, um, so that we will doubt God's word, that we will fall so that we won't have that relationship with our God because the enemy only comes to still kill and destroy. He does that by deceiving, lying. Um, so that what we'll be thinking we're fighting against 
uh, another person physically, but sometimes the attacks is not that person. It's what the demonic spirit that got a hold of that person that's using that person to attack us. Um, so that was just a tangent there. Maybe there should be a preaching on that. I'm going to study that more. Um, then it goes, right, so that was verse 13, lead us, us, um, do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So that father God, if you don't know how to pray, right? A lot of people say, oh, I don't know how to pray. You know, oh, it's not about eloquent, big words. It's about communicating from your heart. And Jesus gave this little guideline as a prayer when the disciples was like, how do we pray? Because they didn't know. And they were seeking him. And Jesus was just showing them this part. Hollow your father's name. Exhort God's name. Let him know he's first. Let him know you want his kingdom to come into your life. Hallelujah. Right? You let him know he's your father. Hallelujah. And you want his kingdom and his will to reign in your life. Hallelujah. That's, that's what you're seeing in this prayer. And the reign on earth. Use you on earth. Hallelujah. To manifest his kingdom on earth now. And that he will give you your portion, the daily bread, to give you your portion, hallelujah, so that you can continue to go out there, forgive people who may have um, sinned against you, right? But first you're asking God, God, forgive me for my sins, but your heart and your mind got to also be ready to forgive others. We cannot hold on to the unforgiveness and want to have vengeance ourselves against people who wronged us. So that's another part with that prayer. And do not, and, and now we're asking God, not for us not to be led into temptation. So we're saying, and do not lead us into temptation. God, guide us away from temptation. For we desire your will. Because we already asked in this prayer, Father God, for you to come and reign. Your kingdom to reign in our lives. For your will to be done. We already asked that in that prayer, right? But deliver us from the evil one. Jesus said he will deliver us from such, right? So now we're praying. He's even saying, but to pray this, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. His kingdom and power is forever. Hallelujah. Right? So then we see in John chapter 14, where Jesus also talks here about prayer and He's telling us we can come asking, hallelujah, in his name, right? Whatever you ask in my name. So that's John chapter 14, verses 13 and 14. It states, and whatever, and when I say it states, is Jesus speaking here. And whatever you ask in my name, that's Jesus, the son of God, hallelujah, that I will do that the father may be glorified in the son. Hallelujah. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. He says it twice. Hallelujah. Be encouraged. Oh, hallelujah. How is it great to know we can come in the name of Jesus, the Yeshua, the son of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can come in his name. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. We come in his name. And Jesus gave us that assurance and that promise that it will be done. So if you don't know the Lord, hallelujah, as Lord and Savior in your life, I want to encourage you to confess and say this prayer. If you want to know him, hallelujah, that you will make haste now to know him because tomorrow is not promised to anyone. At the very next second, it's not promised to anyone. And so I want to encourage you to take that moment of faith and to believe in him. If you've been living your life one way and it's just not working out and you're always wondering, why is this happening to me? If you wonder and you're seeking, there's a void in your heart and you want to know, is there a God, hallelujah, that loves me? Is there someone that loves me, hallelujah, that can help me find a way through the situation and things I am going through, right? I'm here to tell you, yes, there is, hallelujah. There is someone who who loves you so much so that he gave his only begotten son. Hallelujah. And there's someone who loves you so much so, the son of God, that Jesus, he went to the cross for us to take our sins, right? So that we can take our sins 
confess to God and God ask for forgiveness right for them right and he will remember them no more so that we can begin to pray that as long as we accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior because Jesus says the only way to God the Father is through the Son hallelujah so in Romans chapter 10 right verses 9 to 13 I want to read this with you but if you confess it with your heart hallelujah and believe you can do this today and believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior you will be saved salvation has come to you hallelujah so let us read um Romans chapter 10 we're going to read from verses 9 through 13 if you have a Bible get it if you don't you can do it online and read that prayer we're reading in the King James Version. Highlight this prayer and use it to encourage others too to come and to know and accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Now, again, Romans chapter 10 verses 9 to 13 states that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. For the scriptures say, "What whoever believes on him will not be put to shame, for there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich to all who call upon him. Call upon him. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be Save. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We call on your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. And today we confess with our mouths the Lord Jesus and believe in our hearts that God, you have raised him from the dead. You, oh God, we will be saved. Hallelujah. Thank you for saving us, oh God. Thank you for saving us us father god hallelujah for making the way hallelujah lord make us your ambassadors oh father god let us have a faith in you that is not synthetic hallelujah let us have your holy spirit in us holy spirit come and lead we welcome you in our lives hallelujah because now jesus said he's going to send a comforter a teacher and a guider so father god teach us your word oh god that we may know it and walk with it hallelujah and not depart from your ways hallelujah oh god not depart from doing your will oh god lord I praise you and I thank you for meeting with us this morning. Hallelujah. And thank you for walking with us, oh God. Let us walk with you. The Bible talks about a man who walked with God so much so that he took them because God delighted in it. And that was Enoch. And I want to be that way. I want God, you walk with me. I walk with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That I, I just walk with you. And Lord, you are so pleased. Hallelujah. Lord, I desire to please you. Let us desire, friends brothers and sisters in Christ, to please God. If you've been serving the Lord for a long time and you fell, make this your prayer today, Father God. I want to rededicate my life to you. Hallelujah. Lord, I fell. Forgive me for my sins. Lord, your word said a contrite heart. You do not turn away. So, Father God, help me to see you, Father God. Thank you for welcoming me back. Oh, God, God is not condemning you. He wants you to come and have a relationship with him. That's why you're still here and there's still a purpose. He's still giving you time. Accept the Lord today in your life. Hallelujah. And now that you have accepted the Lord in your life, the next step is to get involved in a church so that way you can be encouraged and taught the word of God because it needs teaching and you might need um, someone to pray with you because the word of God tells us to esteem one another, to pray and comfort one another, to encourage each other in the faith. So if you don't have a home church yet, right, I want to encourage you to check out hopesway.org online so that you can find out and connect with us, right? And then maybe we can help you to connect to a church if you're not in the bronx area or you can't travel to the bronx area where we are for service 
then maybe we can help you connect and find a church where you are. A Bible-believing church that believes that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior and the only way to God the Father is through Him and that you have to repent and turn to Him, accept Him. Confession has to be made, right? The church that believes in that, right? Then we want to encourage you to go to that church if you cannot come to the Bronx area, if you're not in the New York area. So um, again, Hope's Way is located at 2281. Southern Boulevard, Bronx, New York. We want to encourage you if you're coming out. Um, or if you're not, you can also connect with us on Zoom. If you want the information for how to connect on Zoom, check out our website. So that way you can send us an email and then we'll give you that information. Or if you want to connect with us online on the conference line, it's on the website and you can check it out there too as well. God bless you and be encouraged.